one. Cool. All, All right. right. Well, welcome to the doing? second podcast. Yeah. Numero dos. Hell Numero yeah. Dos, huh? yeah. Still don't have an I, official uh, name, by the way. No, no not really. <laughs> yeah, life was smoke. Smoking <laughs> buds. Smoking buds is kind of good. Well, the thing is, Matt doesn't smoke. Oh, that's true. He just looks cute, you know? Yeah, yeah, you know, it's, can't it's one of the pros. <clears throat> Why is that, Matt? Why we already we already went through this, but did we, we go through that on the we, first? I think we went through that on the first one, but oh, maybe. I don't know, I mean, I I don't know the, if Damon was the, there. Let's, let's, I can give the full story. Like I can give the in depth story. Well, what? Mind. Yeah, what? What? What is like the actual so, reason? Yeah, yeah. So, so I woke up one morning in my apartment, <clears throat> just getting ready, looking all fancy for work. You know, I was working at the neurology office, looking all cute and everything. And then uh, I was in the bathroom, just like, combing my hair or something, and I went. <clears throat> I coughed, and uh, I had instant pain Ooh. on my left side of my chest uh, that was radiating to my back and up my my shoulder and neck. And uh, I didn't know really what was happening. And then I, you know, my mom is a nurse, so I, <laughs> that's what I called. Because I was like, hey, what the mm. fuck? <clears throat> and at first, it was just like, oh, it's probably like bad reflux because i have reflux too you know just she's like oh just go to walgreens and get yourself this and you'll be fine go to work and you'll be good to go and then um called her back like five minutes later and she noticed on the phone that like my breath was getting pretty short and like she could tell i was in pain like mm-hmm. i was in my car ready to drive and i'm like no nah, i shouldn't drive because like, well, i'm bent over yeah so then i go to mercy gilbert um and put me in the er and the first thing they do they brought me back right away the first thing they did was an ekg on the heart because it's on the left side so they checked that came back normal that takes literally if no one's done an ekg it takes literally two minutes to do they put the electrodes on in the certain spots test for a minute look at it normal or not they can tell right it, it was normal so mm-hmm. they weren't as worried um put me in put me in a room put me on oxygen because my oxygen was kind of low it was like low 90 it was like 90 percent normal oxygen like older people usually have lower um but normal for people is between 90 96 and 99 so not is, not in their 20s no not in their 20s it's yeah. not normal so um <laughs> put me on that that boosted up put me you know they had blood pressure going every 30 minutes it would just hike up and check it every 30 minutes um Started off really high just because I was nervous and it's an ER. Uh, yeah. Then doctor came in. I was like, hey, man, what's going on? Told him. And he's like, oh, we're going to do a chest x-ray. Um, but he wouldn't tell me why. He wouldn't tell me what the reasoning was. He just said he thinks he knows what it is, but he wasn't going to tell me it because he didn't know. That's always extra sus, too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right? That's just <clears throat> welcome, welcome to the world of medicine uh, but oh, yeah. you know he was nice about it like he was like we're gonna do this he's like i think it might be this but i don't want you to think that yet because i'm not sure right so she just kind of went on did the extra right away but then it took an hour for someone to come back and tell me what was going on so imagine this you do the x-ray you go back to the room you're sitting there and you know er's with the doors with the, not the doors the um curtains closed and stuff you can still hear everyone around you oh you yeah. can still hear everything yeah, going on and sure. right in front of me is where the middle table is where all the ma's are and all the nurses and stuff so i can hear everything going on i'm sitting there and all of a sudden i hear someone say <laughs> they go oh we're waiting on a chest tube for room five <laughs> and i'm laying there <laughs> and, room five excuse me and i look <laughs> up i look up and i see <clears throat> i'm in room number five Instantly, instantly, dude, I'm not even kidding you. Instantly, my pulse went up, my blood pressure went up, and someone came in to see if I was okay. Right. And I was like, I was like, what the fuck is that? Right. Because I had no idea what that was. And then doctor came in, told me, showed me the x ray. Lung was half collapsed, wasn't full, it was half collapsed. And um, basically, a chest tube, if no one knows, when they, it's just a long tube connected to like a, a pump that connects to the wall. Okay. And what happens is, is when you're collapsed lung, you have a hole that, that's from the inside to outside of your lung or whatever, and air basically got out of the lung and it compressed it, right? So they have to suck the air out to let the lung fill up and heal, and the hole has to heal and everything. So they go, they do it bedside too, by the way, to put this tube in. Like, they just do it right there, right? So they bring in this kit, he's unraveling it. Right, they feel in between your ribs on whatever side it is. They make an incision. And they literally shove the tube in. Like, I'm not even kidding mm-hmm. you. 
It goes straight in to your cavity, so like middle of your chest area. You're awake. You're awake. When did it? Oh no, yeah, no, you're awake. Oh my yeah. god, yeah, you're awake. So, so I asked the guy literally when he came in with the kit. I said, "All right, what's the pain level right now? Like, what am I? Like, how how is this gonna feel?" And he's like, "It makes forty year old men cry." I was like, <laughs> "Okay, perfect. yeah, you're, you're essentially getting fucking stabbed through the so, chest." So I'm like, "Okay, perfect." You know, they numb the outside. They can they can only go so far with the numbing, right? So like, yeah. they numb the outside and they numb like the skin layer inside. But once it reaches oh. through the ribs, dude, that's a pain. It's painful, man. So I sat there. You know, they live. They have me put my arm up so they can feel it. All right, don't feel anything until that tube is like up in a there. quarter of the way in there, right? And he's like, "You're gonna feel a lot of pressure." And like, I'm like, my fists are like clenched and stuff like that. All I can tell you is that I did not. No tear came out. I was so happy. It was <laughs> so painful. But they Man. put that in there, and it was in there for two and a half days. You have to I keep your arm up or elevate or anything? No, you can move You can move it around, mm. but you can only move it so much because the tube's literally... I'm like, getting the heebie-jeebies just thinking about side, something right? stuck up in you. Yeah, I was going to say, if I ever need to do some shit like that, just kill me. Please, so I, I, I just, I will not. G. I don't. So, I will fucking murder is, you if you get so killed. Here, dude. So, so here's the thing: is is they call it a spontaneous one, a spontaneous pneumothorax is what it's called. Um, usually, people with collapsed lungs either were shot, stabbed, or they got hit really hard in the chest. Things <laughs> like something like that would cause it. Yeah, right? trauma. Self-explanatory. Yeah. Also, smoking can cause it. So that was a big thing. The doctor was like, do you smoke? And I was like, no, I don't. I don't smoke at all. He didn't believe me at first. He kept asking me every single day. Didn't That's hilarious. Like, no, dude, I so we're all just like, like oh, you don't look like freak. someone smokes. Like, like, I don't like secondhand from people smoking, but no, I don't like directly smoke, right? So, no. Uh, or people that are really tall and skinny can have spontaneous ones, and it's not and it's common. But I'm neither. I'm chubby and small, and I don't smoke. So, fucking, Yeah. So, basically, the best feeling in the world was taking that tube out. I cannot even explain oh. it to you. Oh. Dude, the, the, the pulmonologist came in. Uh, mm-hmm. The guy that was actually talking to me the whole time while I was in the hospital. And he's like, I'll be the one pulling it out. We're going to pull it out this morning. Your x-ray looks good. They basically take x-rays every day to see the lung fill up and make sure that it's healed. Right? If it's back to where it normally is and I'm able to breathe and there's no more air coming out of the tube pump or whatever, then they're like, okay, we can take it out. And then once it's out, they have to do another x-ray to make sure that the lung is stable. So, <clears> dude, <throat> when the guy came in to pull this out, he's like, it's going to take about one minute, Matt. It's like, all right. All right, let's, takes get, the, takes let's the, get it done. Takes the tape off. He cuts the stitches around, right? Because there's some stitches on those round, right? Which was fine. Yeah. Literally, he's like, all right, Matt, I want, you to, <laughs> I want you to take a deep breath. And as I pull out, exhale. That's what right? she said. Like, all right. I was like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so I literally did that. And he's like, he literally did. It started to come out. And then he literally just pulled that shit and the amount of pressure that was relieved was fantastic i, I was bet. able to walk around i was oh, able to jump around i could do whatever just right? start so doing cartwheels as soon as he takes it out <laughs> <laughs> right when he pulled that out and they put the tape over it to for the hole you know so it stopped bleeding and stuff i was walking around the room i was because i was like sitting there in the bed for two and a half days with a tube in my side right right shit's annoying as hell but the only downfall to this is i'm prone for that for the next five years Probably take, again just take care of yourself side, it doesn't matter right uh, okay so uh you know after five years if it doesn't happen then it decreases the chances right um if it does happen again one more time then they do the same thing but if it happens a third time then you have to do surgery on your lung <laughs> by the way oh, which is definitely not it's not a bad surgery and it's not like a life problem surgery or anything you know it's not it's like a couple day recovery it's nothing like crazy they basically like take out your lung and clean it. I'm not kidding. Uh-huh. Like they scrape the inside and the outside of it because <clears> usually <throat> those holes are caused by buildup of some sort. Excuse me, that's right. my lung. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. So they basically like imagine just like taking out your lung and then scraping it. Yeah. You're welcome. God. You're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't know if I want to imagine that. To be honest. Yeah. yeah. No, so like, 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 like at least like when people ask me like, hey, do you want to smoke? I can at least be like, no, for a reason. <laughs> Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> right. Not just like no, being like a lame ass. I could be like, no, I actually like physically can't. Right. <laughs> you know, so that that helps me out a lot, I guess. 
I mean, even if you didn't want to as a person, you shouldn't feel obligated to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyways. No, and that just depends on the, the people you're around, right? For sure. Um, yeah, I mean, for me, it's like if you don't want to smoke, it's definitely a cheaper option for me, mm-hmm. you know, if I'm supplying yeah. it. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's that. Also, you guys need to let me know when you get more more uh, edible goodie bags. True, buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, I got, I've got a I, fridge full of edibles, man. If you ever, like, I, I told you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Me yeah, too, no, dude. I, still, I got a gallon sized bag full of them. I'll bring yeah. them. I still got some. Yeah. But my, um, my, my parents don't want it over here because of my brother. So, yeah. um, he's definitely. We were pretty sure that he's already experimented with that crap and he's only like 16, almost 17. <laughs> so, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. They don't. That's typical. Not too comfortable with that, yeah. I'm not too comfortable with that at the moment. Which it's every kid's thing. Well, not every. Yeah, I yeah. can't say I'm me, but you know what I mean. Uh, yeah. yeah, that happens often. Yeah, but they don't want me to put that shit anywhere really at the moment, which is fine. I can respect that. I mean, I'm living here, so yeah, yeah, I respect that. Right? Yeah. Um. Nothing wrong with that, you know. Yeah, no, not at all. <laughs> yeah, that's why I can't smoke. Just. FYI, you know, you could just name the podcast of like something smoke and then just like parentheses, just put like some weird ass, you know, <laughs> like, you could just, like... yeah, I'm sure everybody would love to type that in every time. Just the, just the, the smoking boys and a, and a weird ass, dude. The weird ass. <laughs> I mean, why not? Uh, anything interesting go on with your guys this week, though? It's from last Tuesday. Uh, yeah, someone's got a new position this week. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, I, I yeah. From the oh, harvesting geez. and trim team now to the, the veg team. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <good. laughs> All right. What? <laughs> and yeah, dude. Yeah, basically, there, it's what you're doing really is well. just t- taking care of, like, the clones and taking care of like different soils and stuff that they have in there and getting them ready for when they move to the flower room it's a different environment we're shaping them up into good young men you know yeah let let, let me let me explain the whole process to you man there's quite the rooms in there yeah oh we have many rooms (laughs) <laughs> so pretty much there's there's three different teams you could apply for when, once they, like if you wanted the job per se. You, there's a cultivation team. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> where are we? Where are we? This, this uh, I'm, I'm just the laughing about Damon because he got close. The cultivation <laughs> team like involves like um, <laughs> it's uh, the flower and harvest team which pretty much takes care of, like, the plant before it gets harvested, when it has the buds on it and stuff, and does all the, the methods it takes to get to that process. And then you have to go over to the veg team, which is pretty much, like, the babies in the side to where they get to the point where they, they start having their product grow on it. And that's another one of the processes and another teams you could apply for. And then they have a, a trim team, too. You pretty much just get the, the, the product ready for final sell and everything like that mm-hmm. and they what also order does it go with pay uh, uh-huh. across, that's an interesting across question. the board yeah this place starts around uh, $14 an hour but after like performance reviews you definitely could mm-hmm. make more in the meantime yeah usually the, ra- the pay comes with tenure I guess and, and performance mm-hmm. so for sure yeah. is, a, is your performance reviews do they have it like every year or is it just like uh uh, three months it whatever. seems yeah, yeah like, it's a monthly yeah, thing couple, i think no that's nice something yeah. like that that's nice yeah yeah when i used to a little background for you guys especially on the, you guys you probably don't know but when i worked at t-mobile we had monthly reviews like that right, right. but ours were based off of everyone in the district so everyone just in like i was part of phoenix uh west in t-mobile okay. So and it, it was like eight stores, and they all had their leaderboards of people. And your performance review was based off of everyone. That wasn't just yeah, like your it. store, right? Really, and how and would they had, determine like, stuff from that? Well, so because they would they would look at they would you you were ranked with your whole 
region, either A, B, C, D, or F tier right. on the leaderboard, right? And that was updated daily with your sales and revenue that you generate and then your pocket of what you'd have carrying home with you. And then you'd also be rated, that same thing would be revenue generated for the store, accessories sold via money-wise, um, and then, uh, you know, different types of phones, plans, different types of plans. Like, it was all broken down. All right. I'm but sure. if you were, like... T-Mobile dude was cutthroat. If you were like D tier for two months in a row, you're you're done. Like, you're out yeah, yeah. instantly. So you gotta yeah, like you're gone. You know, get you're with gone. The shit. So yeah, and like the thing is, is um, I'm not a big salesperson, but I was always like top of B tier, bottom of A, and I wasn't like a pushy guy, right? Yeah. Um, there was. Well, a I guy mean, people come there, was... they know what they want too, so it's yeah. it's not the hard process and, if you, and if you I know don't what you're talking like, about. Yeah, I don't like pushy salespeople when I go to tech stores. Mainly A, because I already know what I'm talking about, but also B, um, it's just, it's annoying as shit. Right. right? Like, if I tell you what I want and you just say, yeah, I understand what you're saying and you just help me get that, great time. Right. Yeah. So I took, that's the approach I took when I was selling phones and plans and stuff. I, I was, you know, telling, I was just trying to be like understanding with them, but then also not pushy like you have to do this right now or you have to because if you if you started saying i have to or you have to dude you lost their interest Mm -hmm. a while ago right yeah yeah we had one guy that was real pushy and he would always he would try to just lowball people and he would he would get people signed up without like explaining every little detail and things like that and like yeah he was doing really well but then dude then his customers came back with so many issues and so many bill problems mm-hmm. you know how stressful that is right yeah i'd rather be like b tier and have like one or two people come back a month with like an issue or a question than every single person you see mm-hmm. yeah right? that's just a stressful life to live people coming back to you with issues and yeah you, know you help them mm-hmm. right for sure yeah fuck that and then what happened was is he would he days he'd be gone i'd tell i'd tell his customers i'd say oh he's coming in tomorrow yeah right? <laughs> because i'm like no i'm not gonna I'm not gonna uh, help you guys yeah, out when yeah, that guy's exactly. being stupid, right? For sure. Yeah, hell no. Yeah, it's better for just to dude. be for sure, like up front with everything too, and like especially like pricing, just for random stuff like that. I feel like a lot of the salesmen in that criteria try to force like hidden stuff in a sense to where it helps their commission. Mm-hmm. Or have at least I've experienced that in the past with. Um, different from processes and switching to different companies and stuff but uh, they all have their little fucking hidden bullshit for sure yeah but yeah I mean if yeah well, there's a there's a lot of those places that kind of take it more like a car I even like like that kind of upfrontness with like a car dealership too you know it's you don't want to go there and have somebody pushing all this stuff on you on a certain car that you don't know you don't want you know mm-hmm. like yeah For sometimes yeah. they almost like you feel obligated to buy the car you know it's like right right yeah the the first time i walked went to a t-mobile to uh potentially switch over um it was they just kept blasting on me like you need to get magenta max for all four of your lines <laughs> and uh, it's going to be like 180 a month and everything's going to be great you know you never have to use wi-fi again it's 5g and it's like what the fuck <laughs> no <laughs> no yeah. i do not need yeah, magenta max yeah. and I, George, you know. hey, just do essentials or whatever yeah, For and sure. I was just, <laughs> yeah. I was and i was like i told them i was like i want like just the essential shit and and they just kept ignoring it. They were just like, no, 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 because no. for thirty more you could get Magenta Max and then oh, uh, shut up. What the yeah. fuck? Well, it just helps our commission bonus and paycheck. Right, exactly. Too, but it's like so. I literally told you, <coughs> I want you know this. I want so and so, and you're still just gonna push for that. Right. And you know what's so crazy about that? Is like you did essentials, right? Mm-hmm. Or, yeah, you did essentials, right? Because I told yeah. you, I'm like, oh, dude, just do essentials. It's just tax, so like, same yeah. thing, but you just have to pay taxes, right? So, and auto pay, right? So, uh, right. and the thing is, I still remember this. This was like years ago, but um, yeah. the reason why people push like the Magenta Plus is because it was the most income in their pocket, 
All right, it was mm. the most money in their pocket that they'd have walking out with their paycheck every month from their commissions, right? Yeah. But what they didn't realize, as now I'm the smart one here, is if you did Essentials, and like maybe even Essentials Plus, there's two versions of Essentials. Mm-hmm. Um, cause well, Essentials now there's... Was, I don't know yeah, what there is now. Yeah, because now it's like magenta, or it's Essentials, Magenta, mm-hmm. and then Magenta Plus or plus. Yeah, Max. Okay. So, so Essentials was so easy to push because... You could literally say, "Hey, I can get you. You're da- you're unlimited, right?" Yeah, yeah. It's With like unlimited, yeah. but you have like fifty premium gigs, which is yeah, still phenomenal. Like so, so <clears throat> dude, it was so easy for me to push unlimited service. You're just not gonna get like your Netflix and shit like that that's included. But essentially, yeah, this, yeah, this you have cheap, to be on the max the cheap, to get Netflix. This is the cheapest plan we have. <laughs> it's still unlimited, right? Here's yeah. what it's gonna cost you for a family of five. It's gonna be like a hundred bucks or something like that, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Or whatever it was for like a family of five. Think about that for a second, right? If they oh, all yeah, have their absolutely. own phones and they came in and they're like, "We need new lines. We already have our phones. They're unlocked and they knew all that information." I'd say, "Okay, essentials it is." And my boss would get irritated sometimes for not trying to push the magenta stuff, right? But, dude, walking, pushing more lines of essentials than versus, like, a couple of the magenta paid me so much more than wasting my time on trying to potentially have someone walk. Right. Um, but, yeah, like, people, like, my boss and people like that got so irritated because I wasn't as pushy, but I always ended up top B tier, bottom A tier. So I was like, what do you guys want from me? Mm-hmm. Like, what? Like, I'm still doing my job. It shows. There's people out here in Gilbert or whatever that are lowballing it. You guys are mad that I'm not just shoving it down their throat. Yeah. And then they ended up getting rid of me because of they ended. Well, actually, I quit before they before they got rid of me. They basically said, "Hey, we can't work with your next semester school schedule," which was the same schedule they were already working with, by the way. Uh, and it was December time of 2019, right before 2020, right before COVID, actually, right? Yeah. And uh, we, <laughs> they, my boss wouldn't let me have my birthday off. It was like a Friday, December 19th. Wouldn't let me have it off. Everyone else was perfectly fine, right? Everyone else was like, oh, I'll cover for you. My boss was like, no, he doesn't. You don't get, no one gets to cover for him. It's December. It's busiest time. No one can take it off, blah, blah, blah. So I just put my two weeks to end on the 18th. They already told me they weren't going to keep me starting January. So I put my two weeks to end on the 18th and said, yeah, fuck you. Fuck off. Basically, (laughs) right? And then the next day, celebrating my birthday, free of work and then COVID happened that I didn't have a job because no one was hiring but that was a whole different story mm-hmm. but <clears throat> basically said fuck you right. it was good money though it wasn't bad yeah sometimes you just gotta say fuck you no matter how much money you're making you know <laughs> well yeah because they pay you you were lagged a month with your commission so you get paid every two weeks your hourly which was thirteen fifty at T-Mobile at the time which was over just minimum wage is 12 I'm pretty sure somewhere around there, twelve fifty maybe. Pays yeah. you thirteen fifty, then you got commissions. Say uh, January commissions wouldn't I wouldn't get till the end of February, so it was lagged by a month. Right? Oh wow! But they were taxed, which was nice. The commissions were taxed at thirty five percent because it's straight cash, like it's supposed to be. Yeah. Um. So that was just money in your pocket that you didn't have to worry about your taxes with or anything. It was already on your W two. Well, that's cool. So like, that's nice. And how much would you make in like commission wise? Uh, monthly, I mean, keep in mind at the time I was still in high school. Well, not high school, not 2019. I was still community college, right? Before I was going to school, so the money for me was good. I was making biweekly. I was making about 750 biweekly, so for about 1500 a month hourly. Okay. And then I, a commission wise. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> fucking lord! <laughs> no one has no idea what we're laughing at. Bro. Holy shit! Uh, Sorry. Fucking uh, um, uh, commission wise, commission wise, every month I was bringing in about thirteen or fourteen hundred dollars. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So, uh, real quick for those of you with the uh, with the with the headphones in over there, I'm just a goofball. Uh, he. He came back with his glasses on. He stepped away for a second. <laughs> Got my phone. Sunglasses. On. Give you guys yeah. a treat, so, you know. So if you count, if you count commission, I was making. Let's see, I was making fifteen, fifteen hundred a month from my hourly, and then another about twelve hundred a month. So I was making about twenty seven hundred a month at T Mobile, roughly. That's not bad at all. That's pretty yeah, good, yeah, especially at that age for sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. When I was what I was twenty maybe 
Right. Somewhere around there. 19, 20. Yeah, that's not bad at so, all. That's comfortable that's money bad. for that age, you know? Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Uh, I have a... I, I don't like to brag a lot, but I hit a big milestone today at work. What's that? What was that? I have generated revenue for the company. I've generated twenty three thousand dollars this month for the company. Mm, that sounds like a really good uh, number. Right on, good job. And that, to me, in my pocket, without tax, is over five grand already. And I still got like seven days left. Hell yeah, that's pretty keep good. Ra- keep racking it up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Hell Although yeah. the tax money coming out of that's not great. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah fine, but you know, you it taxes. happens. So there you go. I just pay my taxes, by the way. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so there you go. As you should. But 30 percent of that's like sixteen hundred bucks or something like that. Yeah. Seventeen hundred bucks. But hey, maybe you might have a fucking phenomenal tax return. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah, I've only worked for less than half a year at this company, so thirty percent is gonna be too much. Uh, mm. for half the year because I still have my other job that was W right. two you know, and all. So like it will definitely be too much. So I'm definitely gonna get a good tax return back or just not owe anything and just keep the money that I have. Uh, already saved right so right we'll see how that goes i'm gonna actually have like an accountant actually do my taxes uh, should uh should just maybe I, have jared. i asked so i asked i asked jared he told me that um you know she'd be willing to do it but <laughs> um she won't like represent or anything like that as an accountant right mm-hmm. which isn't awful because she's not she's still in school right right sure. yeah yeah so she this can't is our friend, by the way. Yeah, she can't represent as like a, an accountant or anything, but she can help me do my taxes. So I'm not sure what way I'm going to go yet know about that. Also, yeah. sorry about the dog in the stupid background. I don't know why he's barking still. It's fucking annoying. Me. I'm not getting anything. I, I was. I don't know. Oh. If you're, yeah, we're not hearing it, but yeah. oh. who knows? But cool. thank you. Appreciate right. it. Yeah, yeah, no problem. It's just annoying little shit. Bork, bork. You know, now that you said something. No, I'm just kidding. Bork, bork. Not getting nothing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, oh, but now you that you that? said, yeah, that'd be one. <laughs> <laughs> fucking yeah, get he's, it. He's all right. I kind of want to. I kind of want to see the dog. To be honest with you. Yeah, what kind of I've dog does Matt have? I've got pictures. Shit, oh they're. Uh, I don't. I don't even know what kind of dogs, but they're named uh, Jack and Rupert. Jack and Rupert. Yeah, they're little, little. I think they're getting old. But kind of sounds yeah. fancy. Yeah, Rupert. That sounds like Rupert. Yeah, that, that is pretty fancy, huh? Yeah. Hey, Matt, your dog's fancy. <laughs> dude, they're annoying pieces of shit. They're not. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> they're, uh, <laughs> no, they're getting old. No, they're getting old though. It's getting kind of sad. They're one of them. Jack is pretty much deaf, and uh, Rupert. So is he. They're like 12, 12 and a half. Mm. They're getting pretty old. Uh, surprisingly, I don't think they're actually supposed to live that long, so it's interesting. What breed are they? Uh, they're Havanese dogs. If you've never heard of Havanese dogs, they're, uh, you can look them up, but they basically are, uh, hypoallergenic, so they don't shed. Mm. Oh, okay. So you can't really be allergic to them, you know? There's no hair anywhere or anything like that. Are hamsters hypoallergenic? I know. Yeah, I don't <laughs> see. Jesus. Jesus. I don't know. Like, I'm... All right, fucking guinea pigs. My, my yeah, bad. see, that's right. It's fucking guinea bad. pigs. Here we go. Come well, on. Oh, wait, they're guinea pigs? Yeah, it's... Gu- <sighs> okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. Well, maybe, my maybe boys. we need to know about hamsters, too. Keep that tab open. <laughs> All right, I got you. Don't worry. Okay. Smaller mammals and rodents. I looked up... Oh, wait, pigs, wait. No, I, I see their hairs everywhere okay, yeah they, okay. definitely so they, are not, they, are they, not they have their own dander and everything although you could buy a hamsters hamsters yeah you can yeah <clears throat> hold on getting hair and nut everywhere <laughs> <laughs> so hamsters aren't exactly hypoallergenic but they spend most of their time in an enclosed habitat that prevents them prevents the air affecting allergy suffers so like you're probably pusses. not gonna be allergic to them unless you're holding them but yeah at that point if you're allergic to like hamsters or something, yeah, you're just a pussy, dude. That's what I'm saying. Just, just, things. Come on now. Like, you can't win a fight, dude. Like, get with the like, program. <laughs> <laughs> so you have two dogs, Matt. Do you have anything else? Uh, no. No. Just two dogs. I grew up. I grew up. You gotta get yourself a cat, man. I did have one. 
that shit was taken from me. Shit. From my ex. That sounds true. Oh, yeah, no. I had a cat, dude. Yeah, I had a cat, dude. That shit's fucking... I missed that thing. Are you kidding me? Not to bring uh, up old yeah. scars, but what was his name? His name was Carl. Was he a good boy? Actually... Uh, yeah, he was. Oh, his hey. name, actually, his name was actually Ketchup Carl, to be perfectly oh. honest with you, because his uh, the whole litter they named after that, like his brother was Mustard Mike and his sister was Sally, <laughs> and he was, he was Ketchup Carl. Shit, um, man, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I actually wanted to talk about something of that nature, actually. I had something to talk about. It is. Yeah, Unless someone it. else has something to talk about before I like, go down that, that well, hole there. I... I will like to put in later if uh, G has any more bidet segments. We can get into that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, any, any, any rating experiences? Anytime you have any new experiences, I want to know about it. I, don't, I wouldn't happen. say I have like any new experiences. Everything has been smooth sailing, you know? That sounds I, really I, nice. I do, like, I do look forward to, you know, maybe... <laughs> A more advanced one, you know. Mm. Yeah, that's what I was just about okay. to say. Like, do you know? Do you say, like, what if we, do you know brands and like, you know? Do you know? What? I do not. Oh, okay, listen not. here. So I, uh, like, I I definitely have slacked on the research department right. there, but uh, I do know that there's ones that will also dry for you. Oh my oh, goodness! So, um, Shit, dude. like a, that might a, be a Japanese dude, full on. See? Yeah, dude, right. Because that wanna... that could completely eliminate the need for toilet paper, right? And you're so, saving yeah, money. Say goodbye to that industry, dude. Dude, you so, know how much money you would save. Maybe. Right, exactly. That's true. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dude. It, yeah, it could be worth the investment, you know? Yeah. I don't know. I what mean, we... you'd be the first one to get one. I know Are... that. You'd be... You think so? Yeah, I think so. I almost feel as out if we should, your guy we should ask your like, dad. We should. <laughs> my, I don't think my dad will get a heater one. He might. A heater? No, no. <laughs> not a heater. A heater? <laughs> yeah, oh, not a heater one. No. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, uh, I mean, technically, one, you I mean, could just like dude, go the cheap route. Imagine. And you heater. just get you like a regular asshole, one, dude, right? Fucking... And then you just get a you know cheap hair dryer and just... <laughs> stick it down there and shit, blow her I'm so, off. So Woo-hoo. Stupid, holy shit. Ooh, no, I have to dries, shave. But little, then when, like when you tickles. say dry, I think of the I think of the ones where it blows the hot air at your hands in the in the bathrooms. So uh, you know, oh yeah, yeah. Do you guys remember that? The, yeah, heater, right. That's a dryer, but that's well, a hot air blower. Right. Yeah, yeah, it's like hot air blower. <laughs> but Dude, yeah, they would have to move it because you know it's pretty like at hand level. They would need to move it down, like. You know, at a know pretty decent angle. Yeah, like 45 you know degree can, angle. You know how you can flip it? <laughs> so then it goes up, right? So you 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 would just turn it and you just squat down, spread your butt cheeks and let go, you know? <laughs> Dude, do you guys imagine... Okay, look, imagine fucking getting blasted with this shit. Do you guys remember those in high school and middle school? Those fucking leaf blower Vortex 3000 fucking hand dryers? She would fucking make your hands go down a little bit. Fucking awesome. Oh, my. oh yeah, dude. Yeah, the things Imagine I getting would do blasted with that, with that fucking four a.m. on the webcam, but <laughs> they just fucking, oh. you get, you know the ones that are in the oh oh yeah you know the the ones that are at the theaters where you just like literally dip your hands in and you just kind of keep bringing oh, yeah, them yeah, in yeah. and out yeah that yeah. one's pretty cool mm-hmm. too I just want to know how much bigger the bidet is. If it to has dry, the dryer. To dry, yeah. Yeah. Like what mechanism yeah, you gotta, do they have that dries your asshole? I think it That's becomes true. a toilet seat at that point. Yeah, like it's not yeah. Just it would fit day. under it's the whole, seat, like, I feel like. platform. Like one of those oh, yeah, glad I would. I just want to know, like, I just want to know, like, what Do you think there'd like? be, like, a giant, like, or maybe, like, a little uh, compressed air that just, like, <laughs> sits? Oh. A little tank that sits behind your bowl? <laughs> Yeah, after you use it, you hear the machine going. Brrr. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a compressor, I swear. It's, it's taking so long in there. Hold on, it's charging it's up. Charging. My ass is still wet. <laughs> feel, but see, the thing is, like, we're laughing about this, but like, I feel like this is normal conversation in like Japan. Yeah, I'm no, sure. this is already, have, this is already happening. Yeah, they right. have to be this is right already there. It's where, like, where do we need like to be right, right now? Like, we're we're just late. Like, yeah, you, this is funny conversation. But you walk into a restroom in Japan and you hear someone just like come out the bathroom. Chinese about their asshole being dry. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like, this is just this. We're just we're just late. Right? Yeah, well, I, th- I think we are late. I think we're a lot yeah. behind. Americans are very late. Let's be honest. Yeah, we're just we're just late. <laughs> I think well, we got a, conversations guns. already been had. <laughs> this shit was had in like 2003, <laughs> dude. <laughs> 
They were already <laughs> streaming like is... back then. Wait, what do you think the first, you know, when it was invented, how do you think the first guy was like, you know what? This would be a great idea. Like, let me have water spray my asshole. Hold on. Like, how, like, do you think he was just like sitting there and he, it was just like, yeah, let's try that. And he just ended up liking it. Well, it was just like, oh, I think it, think I'm, that's like, what I'm, <laughs> I'm thinking I you're think getting it some came from an evolution. You think so? Well, let me ask you something. Have you ever like pooped while you're in a pool or like in the lake or something? No. Wait, wait a second. Hold up. Do we have a, <laughs> give us more details on this? Wait a second. I need to know. Because well, you said I'm that like it was an experience. Okay. Well, you just like, have you ever like pooped in a pool or a lake or something? Like, it was something that needs to be done. Well, I'm just saying that thing comes out like a little, you know? <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I think that it, it, it uh, you know, expanded uh, from, you know, kind of like an evolution from the shower. Because uh, I've heard before, you know, people just like, they Taking take a shit, shit in their shower, and then they just go right into the shower. Oh, oh yeah, yeah that's right. really smart. That's that. fair. I picture mm-hmm. somebody like fucking nineteen oh something in France, you know, <laughs> sitting on the toilet, you know, dropping logs, and you get some nice backdrop. You know, the water goes bloop back up, and it's like oh, and then they go oh. to wipe, and there's nothing there. They're like, holy <laughs> shit, well, see, what happened like, here? That's right, dude. <laughs> dude. He wasn't there for the the first part of the the. The first podcast, dude, I was explaining to Matt what those things were called. That one's called the Poseidon's Kiss. Yeah, dude. Yeah. The first Poseidon's <laughs> Kiss, and this guy got clean, and he was like, holy like, shit. I just, I get, I'm just, putting water in my throat. Like the way I pictured that was just like someone actually wanting to feel like water. Yeah, they want, they want an ass blaster, you know? Like they wanted that, and then they're like, wait, this can probably clean shit too. You know, like, you, I feel like it might have been like a, it was like a pleasure <laughs> thing. Story, yeah, it was like, and then it was, it was like, like a pleasure thing, thing, and then they realized there was very little cleanup compared to other, you yeah. know, yeah, That's activities. Fair. So, so it, instead, it stemmed from a Poseidon's kiss. There's a lot of theories. It was on this. enjoyed, we and could, then we it could was get into like, like conspiracy oh theories God, and whatnot. But what if I could have something <laughs> that I could just sit down, I just want to steady flow. spread my cheeks, and let the water in. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Dude. Well, that, so that's what you've been doing at three in the morning in your bathroom. <laughs> that's why he got that. <laughs> oh <fucking> God! <laughs> he's brush. If George just like wakes up at three and he dreams about a bidet, and he just wakes up mm. at like three, and he's like, "Shit, I want that right now." <laughs> you got that alarm set. See, now I know this is like un unnatural for you guys, but it's just <laughs> it's just how it goes, you know. No, I'm not, I'm not this fighting is, this it is, at all. This is real life. Like, this is what I'm used my to. My bidet so. journey. I'm, this is leading. Your experiences I, shit, are leading me I save me a up. fuckload on toilet paper as it is now. Hell yeah, you Man. do. Hell, Hell yeah. It, dude. When people were in a crisis because we were out of toilet paper, George was living the life. Although I'm pretty sure he didn't have it then. But if he did, he would not be worried at yeah. all in 2020. Dude, he just has to spend another like 15 to 20 minutes on there and it'd be dry. Like He didn't have to worry about toilet paper whatsoever. You know? Right, you dude, could that's like what sideswipe and TikToker for it, dude. Yeah, like, yeah I, for sure. Like my man probably pulls up sideswipe and dunks on some kids in hoops while he's dude, waiting for his asshole dry. That is, <laughs> yes, sideswipe is the best mobile game out there. I would have there to. There's nothing honestly. better. Fucking mobile games, dude. Fucking dude, would you? Stupid. Hold on. What do we gotta do to like fucking get like some fucking stream going or some shit like stream games? Like, like what? I don't know, just streaming something. I guess it would be harder because we don't all... You just... Well, no, you just stream, right? That's true, yeah. Yeah, it's not that difficult. <clears throat> I don't know I about actually, this stuff, yeah. so... And, you know, no, like, no. wherever, you know, they want to watch, they go watch. If you get partnered, I think you can do, like, dual streaming and squad streaming or whatever. Yeah, that's so. if you're that's if you're, you're partnered. Yeah, right. yeah. Fucking you gotta forever, be good at video but... games, basically. Not even that, dude. It's not even well, about no, being yes. good, dude. I watch yeah. people that are fucking ass that are that have millions of people watching. I mean, it's just a big, you don't have to be good. It's just I guess charismatic, good at entertaining. Or, yeah, entertaining. You're good at entertaining, talking, and just good at self promotion. Yeah, and can constantly keep the self promotion going no matter what. That's the hard part, right? Because either you lose interest in self promoting, feel like it's not doing anything. Right, but if you can keep the self promotion going forever, no matter what, it's simple posts and shit, right? Mm-hmm. 
uh, then it'll it'll work eventually at some point probably. Just hire yeah. somebody to do that shit for you. Also streaming like niche games also helps games that aren't streaming as popular. Like phasmophobia or something. Base. Yeah, games that have a Give fan base, reaction. But not, like yeah, they're not like front page on Twitch. Yeah. But they have still like a couple hundred people watching. Mm. Chances of someone watching your stream at that point is higher than you streaming like Fortnite or some bullshit. Yeah. Right. Where there's hundreds of thousands of people watching. I'm not gonna find it. Right. Yeah, what's your um, guys' thoughts on like do you think you could do like a full time streamer career? Absolutely. I actually, so I didn't have to go to I a full time actually... job for fucking yeah. sure. If I I yeah, I would. I, I think I, I would just treat it like a job. I feel right? like anybody really would if they could just play games all day and get paid for it, you know. Uh, yeah. thing, I don't like, think everybody not... could. It's more true. like you would have I mean, to promise hard work, like a yeah. you would have to people, promise like, like a six yeah. to eight hour period each day to play mm-hmm. games, you know. Like, yeah, and some people yeah. get fucking sick and tired yeah. of being, you know, in the you know, sit in the same seat, mm-hmm. just even being inside the house for that long. Yeah, some people sure. cannot do that. Yeah, and like the shit that they get talked, the shit that the shit talk that they get too from like chat and stuff like that. Like it's a, it's actually a lot. Like, it's yeah. a mental strain. It can be. You have mm-hmm. to learn how to balance that shit. Yeah, if you let it affect you, uh, it will fuck you up. Yeah, it will. Um, yeah, no, that shit will We're fuck not you pussies. up. I think I would be one of those people that, I don't know, I don't think I could do it myself. I Like George was talking about, I think I would just get it in my head too much. Or I, I, could, I don't think I could handle sitting in the same place. I need to be doing something physical for like a good 8 <clears> to 10 <throat> hours a day. You know. Yeah. Uh, I always wanted to like now that I have like the stable job and stuff. I always said that once I'm out of here and like I have my own place, I kind of want to like part time stream. Um, because it'll just be work and that's it. Really, nothing else going on. Um. But yeah, I mean, it's all about also like a consistent schedule is what you need. If you do it mm-hmm. random times, you're not gonna get anywhere. Yeah. For yeah. Sure. It's it's always. You know, it needs to be very convenient for your watchers. Because, like, you know, if you're streaming, if you stream for eight hours, then, you know, that person might have an hour to just stop by at least because of how big of a window they have Mm -hmm. to stop by or something. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Um, But But it does definitely come down to personality, too. Absolutely. If you're yeah. miserable to watch, nobody's gonna mm-hmm. want to watch. That, yeah, you can't right? just sit there for eight hours a day and just not be in- interesting. You know, entertaining. Yeah. yeah. You know, there's different varieties, right? Mm-hmm. Like, um, there's people that are definitely just really chill that have a lot of people watching. Mm-hmm. Right? Oh yeah. You don't, have to, you don't have to be over the top. A lot of people just like putting streamers on in the background. Shit. You know. Yeah. yeah, yeah like, there's yeah, there's definitely a lot of that. Definitely you don't have done that to be, a lot. Like, over the top you can literally just be the most relaxing person Mm -hmm. and it's just you know there's people out there that are always like whatever you put out entertainment wise there's Mm -hmm. always going to be some people that do right so Mm -hmm. it's however you don't have to you don't have to like mold yourself in a certain way like you see yeah not trying to call out names but you see like you know fucking ninja's ass over here right he was definitely mold he definitely was molded to something that uh Mm-hmm. He wasn't before, right? Now he's like a famous celebrity in movies, acts all hot shit and all that stuff, you know? Yeah. Things like that. It could happen you have people like, people like John, who doesn't change. No. Right? Fucking that, Tim, John, love that man. Yeah, John Sandman doesn't change at all. That man literally does the same shit, and he, he's the same guy that he was years ago in Georgia. I started watching him like five, six years ago. Same yeah. guy. Yeah. Did you see that? I, I put it on Twitter. His... His fucking dad gifted me a sub oh, to yeah, yeah, him. It was yeah, the yeah, best that. thing that was ever. Funny as shit. Yeah, I saw that. It was funny. His his, his dad, dad liked the tweet, but I don't think John saw it. Or I hope he did. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah, his um, his dad does some streaming. It's fucking funny. Yeah, it does, it's it does adorable. Marbles, dude. Yeah, it's funny as shit. It does marbles? It's the <laughs> best fucking thing ever. He but seems loves awesome. that shit. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah, oh great, my dude. god. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's he's a limo driver actually. Oh, His dad oh is my or God. was a limo Classic. driver. I'm pretty sure. 
and then uh, he started just streaming. And I remember his first stream, John helped him out, and he was sitting there while he was doing marbles. All he does is get online and play marbles for like an hour or two. <laughs> he loves with the, it. With his chat, and then it talks to everyone, and then gets off. And John and like has to... three kids. I know. I, I know. cannot believe now. that. Yeah, yeah, he does now. Uh, I know. I, uh, he, he, does. He, he deserves that life. Yeah, he's, like, he's good. He look. Yeah. He seems so happy. I follow yeah. him on Instagram. The kids are mm-hmm. always fucking happy, and it's so wholesome. Well, yeah. I love it and every fucking yeah. time. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but one thing the the segment the, or the segue that I was gonna make in because you asked about my cat, right, <laughs> or whatever, and then that brought up some things. But <laughs> what I was gonna say is I went on a second date Ooh. with that chick or girl however you want to a lady throw it out there yeah the lady uh, yeah yeah the lady yeah that's what we'll say How'd that go? Um, it was good we are going out again on saturday oh yeah um no it was good we <laughs> so we went you know it's it's interesting because I'm new to the whole dating scene. Mm-hmm. Uh, Been out of the game for a while. Uh, years and years yeah. and years. Yeah. yeah. It's fair. So I definitely um, don't know uh, a lot of things. Well, I, I know things, but like acting in certain ways and mm-hmm. whatnot is definitely different. Um, not in a bad way, though. It's not like I'm acting differently than what I normally would. It's just... I don't want to fuck things up yeah, right yeah. away, you know, or, like, be that guy that just, like, comes off all weird or some yeah. shit, you know? So we we were talking, and, and I was like, oh, what do you want to do? And she's like, oh, I'm down to do anything. And we were supposed to go out last Wednesday, and I get a text from her at, like, 1 p.m., or, like, noon or something like that on Wednesday. And it was one of those, like, hey, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to reschedule, right? And instantly my mind went to, like, ah, like, I already know what this is, you know? All right, know but, where this is going, right? Yeah. Right. But then it was interesting. She said, can we do Thursday? So, like, literally the next day, right? And I That's was reassuring. Like, I, was, yeah. I, said, I said, sure. I said, sure, yeah. She's like, and she's like, well, are we still going to, we were going to go bowling, right? And she's like, do you still want to go bowling? I'm like, yeah, sure. I'm like, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get out of the office in time. I might be able to, but um, I'm not sure yet. I, I'll, I won't know. And she said, that's okay. I'll, I'll wait for you whenever you're off. Like, I'll just wait. I was like. All right. Oh, cool. yeah. All right. Because I told her, I'm like, yeah, I'm far away. You know, like, it just depends if I'm off on time. She's like, don't worry. I'll wait for you. If I have to wait in the parking lot for a while, that's fine. Because I want to hang out, blah, blah, blah. Right. I ended up working remote. Thank God. Uh, met her there at the bowling alley. Not far. Um, and previously, this is, this is just an interesting thing. And I, I want your guys' opinions on this. Because like, I'm not very good at reading signs. I guess mm-hmm. maybe I'm just like social. Yeah, picking not things up, like social cues. Right? Yeah, maybe maybe I'm not like I can pick up on a lot, but maybe I'm just not not there. Well, when you're right in yet. a relationship uh, like that for so long, you know, you kind yeah. of those public social cues yeah. like that, you you kind of lose touch but, with, and you just ignore them. Yeah, right? yeah, because and especially that, no you, yeah, time. yeah, you lose that sensitivity because yeah. you ignore them. You know. Yeah. So, <laughs> so we're sitting here and uh, we meet at the bowling alley, get our lane or whatever, and she the one thing that I that I appreciate a lot is she's very, um, she's very open and she's very like free spirited. Right. And George can compare with the previous. Okay. But this one, she like dances randomly, sings the songs that are going on. Like, she's very just yeah. like open, right? which I appreciate, That's which cool is completely fun. opposite <laughs> from previous, which I'm sure George can attest to. Okay. So, um, we, we need some went to go grab our bowling balls and, yeah, and te- the texting beforehand was like, she's like, by the way, I'm really competitive. I'm really good at bowling. And I was like, you're oh, fuck. I was like, shit. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm out, man. Like, I, I'm not that great at bowling. I'm okay. And she's like talking all this. She's like, yeah. She's like, well, I guess we'll see how competitive it gets. My family's competitive, blah, blah, blah. But I, whenever I bowl, I'm pretty good, right? So I was like, okay. So show up. She wants me to go first. And she decides right when I start bowling. She decides to try to get in my head instantly. I was like, what the she fuck? Just talking on? shit. Right. So, yeah, she's, she's like, she's, so, like, I'm sitting here and she's like, I'm going to, because I'm left handed, right? And, you know, you have the middle thing uh, where you grab your balls from where they come mm-hmm. up, right? Oh, yeah, we were on the, we were, yeah, so we were on the right side of that. Okay. 
we were on the right side of it, so it's actually it's on my left my left hand side where I'm grabbing the bowling balls or whatever. <laughs> and she's like, I'm gonna stand to your right, staring at your ass basically while you bowl. <laughs> like I'm not even kidding you. Like she's like directly next to me, just staring at me. Right? And I was like, dude, what the fuck is going? On? I was like, what? Okay. Wait, was she past the you know little the line? Well, no, like, like she wasn't like she wasn't up with me while I was bowling. She was just standing. She was standing to the right of me where you would grab your bowling balls when they come up. Oh. Uh huh. And that's past the right. line. Past what line? What line are you talking about? The nice the, cock line. No, no, no. The like, so like <laughs> what the the seats are right, and then there's the line, yeah. and then it oh, before, becomes like, the, the wood. wooden floor. Oh no, she's on the wood floor. Okay, yeah. yeah she's you on see, the wood floor. It, she, she's on so the floor. She, she says that George's, she's good uh, at, George's, or she's this George's crazy George's bowler, <laughs> right? Where's her manners, huh? Okay, okay, she don't have no fucking bowling. Yeah, Jesus before Christ. Throw, yeah, when someone's you bowling, you get your ass off that wood. <laughs> okay, no, no. So, so <laughs> she's ganging up on it. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ, guys. <laughs> I'm sure she's a nice person. person. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure yeah, she's a nice person. Fuck? <laughs> she needs to go sit down. <laughs> so she's, standing right, she's standing right there, right? And so I, I bowl, and she, that's all she does, right? And I, compl- I get, like, one pin, right? And she's... <laughs> And I turn around, and I'm just like, fuck, man. And she just gives me the clap. <laughs> right? And I'm like, man, this shit. Bowl again. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to do the same fucking thing. There you go. I stand there. Yeah, I stand there. She bowls. Gutters it. <laughs> All right. We're on the even playing field right now. Cool. There you go. Um, but then what she started to do is she started to, like, make comments while I was in my bowling backswing. Mm-hmm. Right, so like when I'd go to bowl, she'd like cough or say miss. You know, she'd like start doing that kind of shit. <laughs> a little. Right? Does she have siblings? Uh, she does. She okay. Has, uh, uh, yeah, she does. She has a couple. Um, so I'm just like, man, the fuck. But like, I was actually like enjoying myself, right? Like, because that's uh, it's pretty important, right? And like, it's more fun than just being like serious all the time. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, right? that's and the I, way to people take are, it. And I'm George can attest, like people that are too serious all the time, it's just painful mm-hmm. it really is it's just painful and i see that now it's just painful right so um anyways i then we bowl like two games i did beat her by the way both games she actually <laughs> told me she actually told me that she actually wasn't good at bowling and she thought that that would just get in my head that she was good at bowling mm. so she started the talking a day before about yeah. bowling should have told her to fucking mm-hmm. practice and not see. talk shit and I was like, what damn. The? I was like, damn, that's like thought out. <laughs> are these, are these is this fun spirited or is this red flags? No, I think it's fun okay, spirited. Okay. Yeah, I think it's red flags. Yeah, it's okay. definitely I, fun. Oh, yeah. I think it's fun spirited because I, if you weren't competitive, dude, I'm a very competitive person with anything. If you weren't competitive or like you hated the fact that I was competitive, then nah. Hmm. It ain't going to work because it's all fun and games. And when it's over, it's over. It doesn't matter anymore. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Like, it's just fun in the moment, right? So then what ended up happening is I uh, we bowled like a couple games and um, I said, hey, well, you know, it's only like 530 or whatever. You know, she lives uh, like 30 minutes away, 40, 40 minutes away or so, depending on traffic. And so I told her, I said, hey, you know, traffic is still going to be pretty busy. Like, do you want to grab something to eat? Like, go out to dinner or something like that. And she was like, sure. Where do you want to go? And I, we couldn't. Dude, this was the first thing. As I told, she's like, I'm in the mood for anything. You know what my answer was? I said, no, you're not. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally my answer. No, you're not. And she's like, what do you mean? And I'm like, no, you're not. You're not in the mood for anything. And she's like, yeah, I am. I'm like, all right, then let's go here. She's like, I'm not in the mood That's for anything. That's all I'm saying, so, so I'm like, so Jeez. you're not. <clears throat> right. oh, I already boy. been down this road. I already know. I already been down this road, right? So I'm like, no, you're not. And she's like, well, what do you want? I'm like, I, I will be honest with you. I will eat literally anything. Like, it does not matter to me. I, I'll find something to eat. I feel like guys can do that with mm-hmm, anything. Yeah. I'll find something to eat. Who cares where we go, right? Oh, yeah. We ended up just going to fucking uh, Chili's because we couldn't decide. Chili's? So I was like, oh. Yeah, you got the wonton tacos? At first, I said Chili's, and she's like, oh, I'm not a huge fan of Chili's. So I was like, all right, so where do you want to go? And she's like, well, we can go anywhere. I'm like, no, no, no we can't. <laughs> but then she couldn't think of anything, so I said, she's like, fine, let's just go to Chili's. I was like, all right, fine. I'm not going to argue. I'm not going to debate about it. Let's just go to Chili's, right? So. I want um, my baby back, baby back. <laughs> they don't advertise that anymore. I forgot about I don't that. Think. Right? They don't advertise that shit anymore, I don't think. But yeah, 
I remember that shit. In the restaurants, they used to have the signs that said that too, like on the mirrors and stuff, mm-hmm. baby back ribs and mm-hmm. shit like that. Chili's oh, has yeah. a good, the good uh, skillet queso. Oh yeah, that shit's oh, Don't be talking about some skillet queso right now, man. I'm getting. Yeah, what the fuck, dude? Fuck, dude? I'm gonna so go anyway, like... anyways, um, back to so the like, story. Here's where the, si- here's where, like the signs come in that I don't. Here's where the signs come in that I don't. You know, I know how to read them, but I, I don't at the same time, mm-hmm. right? So, first off, sh- first sign, she rescheduled, actually committed to rescheduling, said that she wanted to hang out. Cool. Yep. First first thing, right, that I noticed. Second thing that I noticed is she's uh, very open and honest literally about anything. Like, I'm not even fucking you. Like, I... You're not, I you're not fucking me? Respect that. Huh? What? No, <laughs> I respect that. No, I, I, uh... I'm like that, where I'm very open and just honest. Mm-hmm. And if you don't like what I'm saying that's honest, then why do you ask? Yeah. Me? Right? Like, I do that to George all the time. Like, I know George, George and I have had some, like, not hard conversations, but, like, truthful conversations that, like, maybe someone hasn't agreed with. Mm-hmm. But it's just how life is, right? It's just like, hey, well, you ask, so I'm going to tell you. Right? And you right. do with that what you will. Yeah, some people can't handle that. Yeah. And so she told me literally first date, she's like, by the way, I'm like very blunt and open and honest with anyone I talk to. And I said, fine with me. <laughs> me too. <laughs> she's like, fucking fine with me, yeah. Seriously, like if you want, if, if they can't, if my friends or someone can't handle something that you say, then that's on them. Like as long as you're not being an ass, right? Mm-hmm. Like if they can't handle something blunt that you say or they take it the wrong way, that's on them. Uh, we're all 24 now, 25, like, they can grow up Grown and take adults, it, yeah. right? Or whatever the case is. That's kind of how my attitude is now towards anything. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> but so that was first thing rescheduled said she wanted to hang out cool one thing that this is where I need your guys' uh, help kind of not not help just like maybe I'm reading too far into it um, she claims to not be a great texter okay let me break down what she means by that we still talk hell we're still talking right now right but there are like plenty of times. Um, there are plenty of times where you know we'll talk all day or whatever. Like oh, you know we were working, so obviously not during the work day as much, right? But in the evening and stuff like that. Um, but then there are times like there there are nights or whatever where like or days where I hear from her like maybe like three times, right? For like the whole day, right? Or like four. Right, but then, literally, like next morning, bright as early when she's up for work, like she's like, "Hey, sorry, like I and like she, like this morning, she said, sorry, I completely forgot to respond to your text.' Just straight up, <laughs> just honest, right?" And I was like, "I mean, I can respect that shit, right? Like I have to. Like yeah. there's no, you know, it's better than like, sorry, I just fell asleep or yeah. some bullshit. And it was like seven o'clock at night, you know, like some bullshit like that that you're not gonna believe, right?" So, but, like, I get that, too, because, like, I'll be playing games, I'll see a notification, I'll just fucking ignore it. Mm. (laughs) And just, like, won't text back for, like, two hours. And I'll be like, I'll be like, oh, shit, I got something on my phone, right? Um, But she even told me, like, first date, she's like, hey, by the way, like, I'm not that active on my phone all the time because I hang out with my family and my sister and I watch movies with them and play games and stuff like that, just so you know. Like, she told me straight up from the beginning, right? So, I, I, and I come from... And that's also a thing is like from the past, I come from a place where we texted all the time, right? Yeah. Maybe necessarily not a good thing, right? I can see it as both. I can see it as a good thing. I can see it as a bad thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, you know, maybe ta- maybe not talking all the time is, is a good thing. Uh, it gives you more to talk about when you're actually like hanging out with the person, but also just gives you like free space even before you're in a relationship or even while you are in one, I guess. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. I want to see what your guys' opinions were on the whole texting thing or what you guys do with your people. I don't yeah. think that's bad at all. No. Yeah. No. <clears throat> it's really, yeah, I don't think that's bad. I think, but I think you had it right on the dot. Like, you know, it's, it does, you're not talking about things through the day. So it's more to talk about once you guys finally meet up and mm-hmm. that's kind of healthy for the stage you guys are at. Yeah. It's a lot of, good. you know, in-person communication is kind of where you want to be yeah. doing dating kind like, kind of yeah. things, not over texting, but yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And sometimes that, that can develop into a, rela- you know, like well into a relationship, that, that type of communication. But you know what I mean? Especially like you yeah. said, like at your stage, it's very good to like, have more to say in person and kind of 
create that in yeah. person, you know. So, yeah. And I mean, yeah, and and you guys, the further this goes on, like it any anything can change at any time. Mm-hmm. Like she says, she's a bad texter now because she's used to it as to what it sounds like. At least you know she's very active with her family. So, mm-hmm. but does that doesn't mean it won't change in a two months? Maybe you know. Yeah, it, no, I, it, that, I think it yeah. just all like naturally it's gonna happen whatever way it will know. you know i mm-hmm. feel yeah and also like the thing is, is i'm definitely taking this one a lot slower i'm definitely taking it a lot more cautious um, you just from past i guess i think that's mm-hmm. the right way to word that. you learn you learn from the past you know oh yeah Everything. george knows i learned a lot george knows i learned a lot he knows i learned a whole hell of a lot um the the <laughs> What the fuck is going on? I don't know why he's dying. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> Funny guy. So Funny fucking, guy. You guys are so uh, fucking <laughs> gone, dude. Holy shit. Okay, so um, next thing is conversation to me is really important. The types of conversation and or engaging conversation is pretty important. What are we... What are we you're laughing. You're smiling. You're fucking... Clo- <laughs> what the fuck is going on? You're just guys cute, fucking, dude. Leave us alone. You guys are, you guys are, you guys are giddy, huh? I, Dude, I don't you know. They're fucking, fucking smiling, giddy, man. Huh? It's throwing me off. Yeah. Right. You guys are fucking giddy, huh? You guys are fucking... God damn it. Um, anyway, so we we went to Chili's. And we were there from 5-ish to like 7-30. <laughs> Not there bad. For a while. That's a good one. Right? Oh, yeah. There for a while. Uh, we, for those two hours or two and a half hours... The conversation was a all of our similar interests because we're both pretty big. <laughs> what are we laughing at here? What the Look fuck? at these buffoons, bro. <laughs> <I'm> just, uh, <laughs> uh, <sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> he What's looks like he's on, fucking man? crying. Dude. <laughs> he is- what, what is going on, <laughs> bro, These guys. Just so you guys all know, they're all so good, dude. They're giddy as shit right now. Yeah. you guys are. Life is good. Life is good. Shit. We yeah, have our cameras are, on. It's <clears throat> you guys are giddy as shit. Like, <laughs> fake, fake. What are you talking about, man? He's good. Yeah. Uh, uh, what are you talking about? Everything's uh, good. <laughs> 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 um. No. Uh, Background, but, you know, is two, we're both, a, two and a half hours at that. Yeah, that's yeah. not bad. It's pretty good. We're shit. both uh, we're both pretty uh, big uh, nerds in the sense of being interested in the same things: uh, Marvel shit, Star Wars shit, same stuff, same activities, video games. She likes playing video games a lot, things like that. So Hell we yeah. spent two and a half hours talking about all that shit. Uh, never a dull moment in that conversation, which was nice. Um, but yeah, I guess I don't know, like thing is is it's definitely very interesting because i'm dealing with someone that's more of like how they act like me Mm -hmm. in the sense of uh no she's very extroverted i'm not not talking about like that but i'm talking about like the same way things we talk about the same actions we do are very similar Mm -hmm. right so maybe it's harder for me to read signs that way because they're the fucking same that i would do and like Mm -hmm. um you know, that's definitely something that's harder to pick up on because just like looking at myself. Yeah. If that makes sense. In a no, way, obviously. I think you're probably right. looking too much into it. You think so? Oh, well, yeah. Is, I'm not like looking really far. Like, I'm not trying to look far into it. Or maybe, anything. yeah, maybe it's just the way you're trying to describe it. Yeah. I, uh,. But yeah, I mean, the only signs that I can take on is that uh, she wants to hang out again. We're going to hang out on Saturday. Don't know what we're going to do yet. And uh, she said that she was free anytime this week, but we can also hang out on Saturday. I just said Saturday because we'll have a longer day. Because some right. people work until like four or five or whatever. And because, I mean, you've, a, you've known her for as long it's as been you three, have. It's been, it's been, I don't know, three, this is our three weeks, almost four, probably. Right. So, like, you right. don't even know what her emotions are and shit that's just something mm-hmm. you kind of learn being mm-hmm. with the person yeah. so yeah. yeah all i know is that she likes to joke around and we give each other shit a lot there you go that's all i know that's about it but yeah that's just a life update hell yeah uh also one thing i want to say george is i got i had i had edibles on sunday mm-hmm. because uh, so i went over to my friend's house over to nick's house and i found out 
I found out on that day that my previous person uh, started uh, dating said guy on uh, four days after, by the way. That's sketchy. Yeah. Oh, well, it's not sketchy. It's not sketchy when you catch someone talking to some person yeah. said a week before. You, uh, that's what I mean. It's uh, sketchy in that sense. Up, right? like, so, so it's not... I'm not stupid. Yeah. Right. But I found that out. And, and Nick's like, so we get an eye? I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, it was like a noon, right? It's a good way to turn to things. I mean, you just forget about all like, the shit. Mm-hmm. Anyways, I am just like, whatever. But once or at he least found lifts that out, it, I think, you know, uh, for a while. Yeah. And, like, the thing is, is, like, we were talking about that stuff. And I, I told him that, because um, he's like, oh, I hope you don't, like, take that and take it all serious and deep down and all that stuff. Right. Even though it was, like, such a long time. Right. He's like, I hope you don't, like, take that as, like, bad for yourself. Like, it, that's not your problem, right? It's not, like, your personal problem. Mm-hmm. It has to do with them, not you, right? Right. So, which is what I've uh, figured, actually. You can ask George. I turned around real quick, I think. Uh, I think it's just because, like, respect was lost once I found that out. So yeah, like dwell on that, that shit, can right? really, like, you know, it's... Something like that will really just make you flip a switch, you know, in a sense. You're just like, all right, I'm yeah. gonna fuck you. Well, yeah, and plus, like, I got the good job, too, mm-hmm. right? Right after that, all that happened, right? And so I was like, all right, that's just a new door that opened. Yeah, yeah. Take it. Yep. Yeah, upgrade. See what the fuck happens, right? Yeah. Big upgrade. But yeah, that's a life update. Well, next Tuesday, I'll have an update on Saturday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just do a, we'll do a weekly update, <laughs> update on that shit. Fuck yeah. But, um,. Yeah, George, are you, um, does, I don't know this answer. Mm-hmm. Do you, you Colin's going to come live with you? Yes. Oh, no, yeah. October. Yeah. October. And then where is, where's is your, is your, your significant other there right now? Yeah, yeah, she's in our room right oh. now. Oh, okay. All right. I, uh, did you go with her to the, the water park and shit? Water park? Yeah, I just put like a video of like fun to oh. be with family about that. Oh yeah, no, I didn't go to that. Man, go. I had other plans. I think. Just wondering where that was. Where was it? Or what water park was that? You know. Shit. It, uh, I think it, I know was it, it like was a couple hours wild away. Or some bullshit. Yeah, it probably went been. wild then, right? That's yeah, it was pretty far. It's pretty far. Yeah, I don't know. I but, just I don't I don't typically like to go to that shit. I haven't no, been to no, the water, um, water park in a while, dude. I don't know. No, but literally nobody yeah. gives a shit, and it's literally just me. But I'm a fucking like fat, wobbling motherfucker, you know. Naughty, you're sexy as fuck. No, no, no one gives a fuck. Hey, I know exactly. Yeah. Nobody gives a shit, but I do. It's well, fucking that, stupid. I mean, that, yeah, it's unfortunate. I mean, <laughs> I mean, that's fair. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure. I'm sure all of us have something about ourselves that. You know, we care about that. No one else does, probably. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. My fucking dick's too big, dude. Sometimes it's pissing me off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, just, just, hey, you put on that swimsuit, dude. Something. It's sure, dude. Once the fucking yeah, suit on, gets wet, you can just see it going down his fucking, thigh. It's bad. Yeah, you put on those like uh, you put on those stuff. like like those those my like, boy tripod. That guys wear. <laughs> <laughs> dude. <laughs> Sometimes it makes me sad, but it's all right. <laughs> never, I've never heard that complaint before. <laughs> I've never heard like, yeah, man, I walk, I have a horse cock, and fucking, yeah. I'm actually. This I can just throw awful. it down, and I've got my yeah. own little tripod built in. Yeah, I can literally, I can literally, I can literally walk up and just slam it on the table, and I'm just mad at myself for it. Just so I can get depressed, dude. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, you could be mad. I mean, you can't wear gym shorts anymore after that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Feel the way I'm at home, dude. Sometimes I just want to go out to the store in some gym shorts. Fuck. Tip pops out the box, dude. Fuck. Yeah. Shit. Your your modern day Rapunzel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Called uh, Rapunzel. Uh, Rapunzel, let down your dick. <laughs> just fucking throw that shit down there. This is a big old smack. <laughs> <laughs> But it's like the story's reverse, like you're in the tower, and then it's like your grandpa climbing up the tower or some bullshit. Oh. Mm-hmm. So like your grandma or something. And you're at the bottom of the tower, just like straight beaming up down. to the window. 
<laughs> at that point, just use it as a weapon. Like you bring, like you're like you never bring a knife to a gunfight, but you bring a dick to a gunfight, right. you know, type of thing. A sixty-five <laughs> foot Indiana Johnson horse cock. Indiana Johnson. What a name, dude! Oh my god, what a name! That's my old alias. Yeah, is that what they call it? That's gonna be my new PS PS fucking gamer tag, though. Indiana Johnson. Indiana Johnson. Shit, man. That's good. That's good. Holy. Man. Dan David's fucking clever, dude. Bro, I'm <laughs> quick with my shit, you says, know? Oh, my. The Indiana one of my favorite podcasts. I think our whole favorite group saying is one of, he said one time when we were all going through some <laughs> rough stuff, he was like, you know, if if one bean slips, oh, yeah, the whole bro. burrito falls apart. And, you know, that, that, that really true, bro. home to me. <laughs> <You know>? <laughs> <laughs> it's true, man. If one bean slips, the whole burrito falls apart. You gotta keep your homie strong, you know? Kiss him and tuck him at night. <laughs> hey, George and I have a running. George and I have a running joke uh, that goes that I don't. How did it start, George, with the whole like hands thing? Bro, oh like, God, that's a good that question, start, dude. Do that, so George hand hugs? randomly. So no, so like like George would. Make I think a joke. you I, just I randomly feel, came out with it. I swear, I, I think so. Like there was you just randomly point dropped that back on me. a long, long time ago. It had to have, it had to have been a long ass time ago. George, it was probably some long lines of like George was like, "I'm going to bed" or something, and I was like, "All right, my hands will be there shortly" or some <laughs> bullshit like that. But then like kept the joke running to where like randomly we'd be in Discord with like everyone like can, like his his significant other would be there like all of us would be in Discord. And all of a sudden, George would be like, hey, my hands are going to come visit you tonight. And everyone was just so <laughs> fucking concerned about what was going on. <laughs> and, like, just random shit like that. Oh, um, but then also, like, we, when George and I played Rocket League a lot, coming up with sayings, when people would always, like, say SMH or, like, KYS, we'd always come up with different names. For those uh, shake my KYS, hands. we just, uh, we, we came up with, like, whenever someone would say KYS like George some he'd be like dude why do you want me to kiss your sister it's fucking weird. <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> like, uh, like, uh, like when people like SMH George is like you want me to suck your hill like just question mark like, yeah, yeah. Just some shit like that just <laughs> <laughs> shit like that right that one's my favorite cause it makes like no sense but it's <laughs> it's just great man it just, makes, it just leaves him like no uh, uh, <laughs> well, because like people that are like really trying to get you pissed off, and you hit them with that, they just get even more pissed <laughs> off. You like, fucking right, dumb. Yeah. Fuck. Like, like you. Why? Why the hell do you want me to kiss your sister, man? And then like, you know, go as far as like when they'd say that, you know, go as far as be like, yo, I don't know if you live in Alabama or not, but I'm not kissing your sister. Like just <laughs> random <laughs> shit like that, right? <laughs> just, but yeah, we have some random sayings like that. But I don't know how the hands thing started. I had to have just been thrown out there randomly hmm. one night, one like two a.m. night or some bullshit. Yeah, yeah, it definitely after, was like three or four a.m. or something like after that. After closing at Papa John's or some bullshit. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Just, like, Sounds like that one like, got a little tangent. bit out of hand. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think, like, my, I think like my favorite thing is is like. I think my favorite thing is now is to mention to people like what i'm gonna start doing i think is when i'm playing real bad in valorant or something i'm just gonna go to my team voice chat and say sorry guys i'm getting support under the desk right now i'm not gonna be able to perform that well just like <laughs> shit like that there you go uh, maybe they'll give you a high five or something maybe you know or if you're playing fortnite they just give you like the hug when you say <laughs> that you know, that'd be nice yeah the one just uh, <laughs> <laughs> reporting at yourself yeah it's yeah. fucking good, but yeah, I don't know. It's um, I'm trying to think if there's any other sayings that that George and I have. Or do you guys have any other sayings that you just like randomly came up with that make no sense at all? When you guys are all high and shit, there has to be something, right? Oh yeah, yeah, there has oh, to be some geez. bullshit. Well, I think <laughs> I think we have got a we've got a good idea over on uh, Collins Corner. There was one time. 
him and our friend Brendan were playing uh, Fortnite and they were stoned and he came up with this phenomenal idea of a character implication in Fortnite. Oh yeah. Oh, with an yeah. emote and everything. Yeah. So <laughs> there yeah, there was one night, yeah, me and me and my friend Brendan were taking a big extravagant or you know, our just great green garden and <laughs> And yeah, we were playing the, the the game Fortnite, and out of nowhere, um, I had a I had a th- random thought about the old movie Barnyard, and there was one <laughs> scene in there where. Uh, we'll we'll just we we'll just wait, in a sense to where um, out of nowhere I was just like, just imagine, that one mouse from Barnyard. And we both started dying. The conversation didn't even like it started for a good four to five minutes because it was just pure laughter. And I was like, "What if? What if we took the mouse from fucking barnyard? Then his name was Biggie Cheese. Biggie Cheese. And <laughs> and he was singing that one song. He's singing like if you if you remember the movie correctly, the um it pans into the barnyard after the owners leave on vacation or whatever." having a big old concert and it's shaggy as like a little fat mouse singing boombastic and i was like just just imagine imagine a life-sized mouse like when he starts doing the boombastic song and he starts holding his lips or lips starts holding his (laughs) hips and like shaking them around town when he like hits the boombastic you go (laughs) get some damage on somebody or something (laughs) Or at least even like a character in an emote with a dance or something. I mean, shit, yeah. they've got a, a fucking Goku, Vegeta, all that shit in there. Dude, right. those, yeah, some weird shit going why can't on. you Dude. get some Biggie Cheese in that what the, shit? <laughs> the fucking cloud thing, like what is that called? You like uh, the Kama Kama, the Kama. The, I think it's like Kama Kama Kama. Kama cloud. The, yeah, the cloud. You jump oh, yeah, up, it's yeah, like yeah, shoo, yeah, yeah. and you fucking fly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's pretty cool. I like that. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Not, I'm, I'm not going to be touching that game until that shit's gone, by the way. I just want everyone here to know that. I played it for like a match, and I was like, hey, hey. I'm all right. It's not horrible. It take, there's a long like charge up for the Kamehameha, so yeah. you it's can like 15 just... Seconds or something. And they stay still, so you can just yeah. like headshot them five times, <laughs> and they're done. I, I, I've done it, so... Yeah, it's it I, takes I a wish. long time to charge up, so... It's you not know, that great. The one thing I, like, am going to regret in the game world from, like, Fortnite and CS and stuff is all my montages of sniper shit, dude. Mm-hmm. And George knows exactly what I'm talking about. Because, like, even we were playing, like, the other day, I hit, like, a 240-meter sniper shot or something. Like, yeah, he's knocked. <laughs> it's, it's, like, random shit, man. But, um, yeah, Fortnite, aren't they? Dude, I saw a TikTok of a guy crying. Because of the Fortnite cinematic, <laughs> like, like I don't really, know. I'm not even fucking you. It's so the guy pretty. was crying of excitement because of the for, and, and then like I don't know, there was a cube and they destroyed the cube, and he started crying that they destroyed the cube. Oh. And I was like, wait, is this like, like the like he's actually invested in these Fortnite cinema cinematography? They they put a lot like, of money into that, huh? <laughs> like what? Like like he, I can only picture the guy, like a dab like, or something. Fucking working God, on dude, the game. He doesn't look. He doesn't look like Dev, <laughs> <laughs> but he could be. But like, I dude, I don't. I don't know, man. I watched. I watched it, and the guy was like crying, like dead tears, like Cringe. upset that they destroyed whatever the cube was in the middle of the Fortnite map. Mm-hmm. And I was like, it's tragic wow. shit. <laughs> is it, is I don't it know. Not, like, honestly. like, are you still gonna wake up the next day? Like, are you still gonna wake up the next day? He just he calls calm? that a work. Hey, they, they took away my them. rusty row. You don't see me crying anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, Rust? guys, I'm real. Speak, fucking, yeah, I don't know, like, um, yeah, it, people, do you know anyone that's that emotionally driven in a video game? I know George and I were for one game. Mm-hmm. I think George can name that game. Mm-hmm. There was one game we were. Rocket and that's called a way out. Uh, no. Oh, dude, way out is oh, a fucking no way out. game, dude. Hey, who um, did you play it with, Damon? Sammy. Fuck yes. Yeah, bro. 
Spoiler you, have, alert! But how did you guys? How did you guys react when you found out that dude the he ending, was a fucking cop? The fucking dude! I was. I had a feeling like towards the like towards the end of the game, I had a small feeling of it. But when it happened, dude, I was just like, and then you had to fucking fight at the end. Oh my yeah. god, yeah, dude! Uh, it was so intense, dude. Yeah, we was, just like we finished phenomenal the game. game. Yeah, it yeah, so phenomenal. super good. We but we just sat there afterwards, just like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> yeah. yeah i remember so george and i literally i came over to his house he was at his he was at his mom's house because his mom i remember this this story completely yeah they were gone we were in their room because they had like the long desk thing going on or i set up there and his computer was there right donovan kept trying to 1v1 me in rock league on the other screen <laughs> Not even my little that. brother me. yeah was, yeah he was trying to be like i'll kick your ass i'm like dude i'm a gc no you're not fine whatever <laughs> i remember first off seeing an uh edible bag in the trash can <laughs> oh no, yeah which i'm pretty sure was from your either your mom or grandma or something yeah, i don't yeah. remember what you said it was from someone yeah it was someone, and so i was like oh okay and this was back when i was like ah oh, fucking weird but you know yeah. that's a different time this was years ago yeah, yeah and then uh and then i remember setting up and we're like we're gonna play this game right now and we're gonna finish it Played it in one sitting. We did not fucking leave <laughs> that desk until it was done. Mm-hmm. Like I don't think we even paused it. And there's a video somewhere. I George has a video somewhere of me dunking on his kid. In the game. <laughs> Dude, there's that a shit video. was so fun. Oh my there's god, smash him! Do the I? Kid, I don't know if I have it. Bro, there, there has, Is it on YouTube? There, it might be. I remember watching it though. Because I remember, like, your POV, right? Right. And it's, like, some serious conversation with you and, like, your wife. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And then I'm over here doing whatever, and I'm, like, you just hear me go, dude, your kid sucks at basketball. <laughs> <laughs> There's, like, this whole sucks. conversation going on no, that I'm missing. <laughs> well, because it shows you both of the screens. So on the right side is this really serious conversation, and then... On the left screen, I can just see him like dunking on my kid. <laughs> <He's fucking laughs> Euro yeah, step. I was like, dude, I'm dunking on this guy. And he's like having this heartfelt conversation going on, right? But then, like, I don't want to spoil it. But the game's been out forever, right? Yeah, no, it, 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 right? it's, it's fucking, been out for fucking yeah. years. Yeah. But then, like, when George and I got to the end and we had to fight each other and like mm, shoot yeah. each other, like, I don't want to do it, man. <laughs> Like, that was like, fucked up. We were both. I, I think George won that, by the way, and we got the ending of George winning. I don't remember. I let Vincent. Oh, um, uh, I don't remember who won that. Yeah, actually. yeah, that yeah. Because I went, I went back Cause to my the, wife. You were yeah, the, yeah. You and were, then because I was the, the letter, cop, right? Or yeah. I was the undercover. Yeah, right? you were undercover, and then you weren't, right? Yeah. Let's be honest. That guy but... fucking. He deserved to die in that situation. He was fucked up, bro. That guy. I was like third. You know, he, they're they're stretching to get that guy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Who the, the cop? Oh, yeah. yeah. But like, dude. But like, they gave you such a good job. Like, you had no idea. Yeah. You thought no, you were just dude. two people escaped from prison. You had no. But then it idea. made sense when you when they like you look back on all like yeah. his scenes. You're like, oh, it made sense why she was pissed right. at him. Right. Yeah. 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 And then like the decisions that were made from mm-hmm. him, right, or from me, all added up at some point, you know. But mm-hmm. like, you didn't know until the end, until it recapped yeah. everything. You're like, oh shit. Phenomenal that makes sense. What right? was the the oh, most yeah. recent one we had? Played? It takes two. It takes two. Yeah. Is that the most? So, I mean, recent I kind of we played in the middle of dude, that. Dude, dude, that one's so good. No we, spoiler, like, spoiler There's a bunch of, of there's a bunch are of these, dark these like prison escape games, coming. right? Huh? Wait, what? Are these like the prison escape? Yeah, games? way out is a prison one. Where you... Yeah, way out is a prison escape one, but it takes two is like you two playing side by side. You're like a husband and wife who are like going through divorce, and you kind of like. The, the point is to like build their relationship back up by teamwork mm-hmm. and shit like that. There's a fucking cool ass oh. book that like. But like, the, there's like, there's like the, the, the Mexican. Yeah. Yeah. That shit. But like, it's like there's like boss fights and shit. Like, it's actually really good. And uh, I played it with my previous person, but we didn't get through it all. Actually, what part are you at? I'm in the like when you get to the castle. We just fucking oh god, cringily <laughs> murdered the elephant queen. Were you high when you did that? Absolutely. That shit was fucking, it was that horrible. Shit's fucking it was horrible, dude. <laughs> it was hard to watch. Dude, She's like, please don't that kill me. Fucking, please. Dude, that shit's wild, dude. Yeah. You you didn't think, you you would never think that you'd be attached to, like, a kid's castle. Yeah. At playing as, like, a kid. Mm-hmm. And then, like, you see one of her toys just get, like, ripped mm-hmm. apart. Like, it's, dude, it's... And then, she, then they it's fucking, fucking crazy. brutally go under her and, like, bathe in her tears, like, some demonic ritual. 
Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like crying on the bed. They're just like, oh yeah, keep crying. Oh. <laughs> good but like this, the, but like the story is actually good. The puzzles yeah. are actually. I haven't. Fun. That, that's where and, about uh, where we're at. So we, I need to finish it. But yeah, dude, you're you you don't have no idea how long you have. That's yeah. Cause there's there's a couple of dark picture, the dark picture oh, yeah. anthology. George and I played those. Yeah, the, a couple of those have come out when we still. Are those like multiplayer go through those. Kind of the same yeah. Mm-hmm. George, did we finish? But they're horror, right? The... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, so George and I, we we played the first one. We played was the the Man of Medan, right, or whatever. Mm-hmm. That's the one with like. The, did we do the, the witch song. one? Yeah. That's yeah. The one where that, the witch one's on the bus, right? And then yes. you get stranded at the, the village, right? And then it's with you and a group of people? Right. I think so, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we finished that one, I'm pretty sure. I think so too. Um, yeah, that's but right. is there another one that I'm missing? Uh they they made a triple A title uh game hmm. recently, right? Is it co op? Of course. Yeah, it's because the the dark pictures yeah. is uh short stories. But this one is like a the yes. full on triple A. Oh, oh yes, yeah. so for a guy, I, you can ask George, guys. I hate horror games. Um, I hate horror games, but these ones I've been able to get through um, with George. Let's see, Dark Picture. Oh yes, no, no, we no! Have, we did oh, Little no. Hope. We did Little Hope in Man of Medan. Yeah. Yeah. Little Hope was the witch one, though. Yeah, There's Little Hope is the witch one. Witch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is there a third one that they made? There oh, is. Oh, there is. It's the army one. It's yes, the army one that's it. With the two army guys. Right? Oh, yeah, we, we, we did them. also yeah. play Hidden Agenda. The fuck is that? On the PlayStation? Remember? We played it with Nick. Hidden Agenda? Remember? I have no idea what the fuck well, you're you just call about. me? Yeah, well, How do you not remember that? We had to play it on our phones. We were sitting in the man cave. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That was fucking trippy. Yeah, that one I was like also that. pretty cool. That was that was trippy. You guys were, yeah, we were all playing on our phones, dude. That shit was fucking wild. Okay, wait, yeah. So there's House of Ashes and The Devil in Me. So those are two that we need to play. House of Ashes came out next. Our I Devil in Me looks way. is actually uh, on pre-order right now. So we need to play Houses of Ashes or House of Ashes. Yeah, yeah, yeah we got to do that one. That's the two army men um, that get stranded in like a, I forget. Yeah, so what is one. what is the triple A one called? Yeah, I have no idea on that one. Fuck. Do you guys like is, uh, like horror survival type it, games? Uh, no. No. <laughs> but, yes. But like what is that? But, well, that's the SCP Pandemic game I was telling you about. Oh, they have like a couple of different right. modes. There's like a clearing mode where you go to the super mass place, and then there's like a horde survival. It's alpha testing, but it's uh, you know it's fun. You can sit there and clear a hundred rounds, you know, a few hours. It's got it's they got good gunplay in it, you know. It's the called the quarry. Mm, the quarry is fucking good. The quarry, yeah. yeah, I have not played that yet. Yeah, that's not that's the AAA one. A I lot think. of people played it. Yeah. Made by the same people, right? It's just yeah. not a Dark Pictures, or is it a Dark Pictures? It is. It, it's the same people, but yeah, this is like their full story. Just a full on game. Yeah, yep. and then the Dark right, Pictures the, are their short stories. Yeah, the Dark Pictures take a couple hours to beat. Yeah, or to play through. They're like two. Or, they're, I think they're like three or four hours. They're a decent length. Yeah, they're still a really good story. length for what you get out of it. Yeah, but the um. I remember playing the Man of Medan one, and I kept getting all the fucking <laughs> jump scares, dude. <laughs> they I kept sending all the jump scares to my... him, and I was just like, dude, "What? What's I'm happening?" About, I'm about to, I was about to shit myself because in that game, at that game, George and I start fighting each other. We don't know it. Yeah. George is like, "I'm busy dealing with this person." I'm like, "So am I," and it ended up being both of us, and one of us ended up killing each other. And you have no idea. And then right? now the and then we and, figured that out and stopped every yeah. future fight. Yeah, it really was because it just fucks with your head. Like we were like I kept getting everything screaming. George like, dude, what are you screaming at? I'm like, dude, <laughs> shit's fucking wild. George is just like walking around with his thumb up his ass. <laughs> nothing. It's like on. yeah, nothing was happening. God. But yes, no. Uh, I can't even get through ten minutes of Resident Evil Seven. <laughs> I'm a pussy, dude. Like I, I hate horror games, but though for some reason I'll play those. I think it's just because I'm playing with someone. Yeah. I think like if I'm by myself, I ain't playing it. Fucking no way, man. It's just not happening. Did you say it's on Steam, the SCP game? What? Yeah, it's, it's um, on Steam. SCP Pandemic. Hmm. 
Hmm. And um, they do what in this one? Um, so it is. I think like I think they have like three different game modes right now or something. They're adding a lot more. It's gonna go a long way, but um. It's, it's so here it is is a story focused hardcore cooperative tactical shooter project based on the 5k scenario interesting 5k is like fucking post apocalyptic some shit 5k scenario well does anyone else have any other things to talk about Oh. 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 Keep hitting my damn phone. Oops. What just happened? Um No, not uh not 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 really. Oh, I was going to say that if you guys are ever looking for something chill, just look up Rock Simulator. It's free on Steam. <laughs> you can just be a rock in a field and oh, they right. add an update where you can have rock babies. So you can have little rocks around you. Dude, what if we got a farming simulator yeah. server going? That'd be fucking dope, dude. <laughs> also, if you are really high, play B Simulator. That's always a good time. Yeah, I uh, I, I'd like to vouch for Power Wash Simulator. Power Wash. How many people can you get on a game? Four. Oh wait, it actually goes up to you six get now. Six. Yeah. Oh, power yeah. Wash? yeah. Bro, you can have six people washing something. Hell yeah. yeah bro. How much is that shit in Steam? <laughs> Probably like this should be free. No. Power Wash is not free, is it? No, no. it's no, like it's 20, twenty bucks. Oh, right? Twenty five. I was gonna say like twenty Tw- bucks. Yeah. Best twenty five yeah. bucks ever. Overwhelmingly <laughs> positive <laughs> with twenty three thousand. Knowing Hell George, yeah. knowing George with how clean he is and stuff, that's probably the best twenty five dollars he's ever Dude, spent. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Because there was a time when George was at my, there was a time when George was at my house and he did my dishes for me. <laughs> The man's so clean, okay? It was uh, was for his mom's birthday. It was her birthday the next day. (laughs) It was. And she came, she woke up and she said, George, why'd you do my dishes? She asked you, she was like, who did the dishes? Well, yeah, and I was like, well, you know, fuck, it wasn't me. So. (laughs) (laughs) Shit. Um, But no, that's, uh, that's about all I got. Hey, we, did, we did some good talking. New conversation. Yeah, yeah that, absolutely. I feel like that's a, a good podcast. Some good talking and some good laughs. Do we want to wrap it up ask. here? I'm not opposed to that. Yeah, that sounds <clears> good. You know, save some yeah, save some yeah, energy I mean, for next week. Yeah, if we're if we're feeling pretty uh solid, you know. Alrighty, guys. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, uh, that was a good podcast. <clears> thanks for good. listening. Had a blast. If you uh, yeah, missed good. our first episode, go back and watch it. <laughs> um. Please, please. It's totally out. <laughs> <laughs> if you're hearing yeah, this one, that. it's out. That's true. <laughs> That's true. <clears throat> and, um, until next Tuesday. All right. Yeah, next Tuesday. Yeah. Later, dude. Later. I love you.